so yeah, way back in the day um, when Jim um, still did some modifications on other guitars, I had him uh, work on my uh, Japanese uh, Ibanez RT450 uh, because the way it came, the bridge and everything, and it just was like unplayable. But I love the guitar because the neck is so fast and I knew it had potential. Um, and he really brought the potential out in the guitar. I mean, it's not going to sound like a Tyler. Um, it, I don't want to disappoint you. Um, it doesn't at all sound like a Tyler. But he massaged it and uh, he did an amazing refret on, on this guitar, which completely changed you know, the sound of it. It made it sound you know, 10,000 times better. I uh, got rid of the string tree, put uh, Sprizzell tuners on, uh, mid boost. He rotted for the battery pack in the back, uh, mid boost bypass button here, and the and the mid boost control, um, uh, split uh, control here. For for these two pickups, I don't use it on the bridge because uh, it doesn't sound very good. Uh, it sounds good in the neck. Um, uh, he put a Wilkinson VS100 tremolo on it, and uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> so this pickup, the bridge pickup, is some kind of a Seymour Duncan, and I'm not sure which one it is exactly. I think it was a prototype of the hot rail um, way back in the day, because uh, this was on my very first Tyler from like 1986 or something, um, and uh, I had sold that guitar, and I, I kept retaining this pickup, and I had Jim put this in here, because it's a really awesome sounding pickup, uh, and it also, also gets a really good stratty vibe, like sort of this guitar has. <clears throat> um, and uh, this is like a Duncan classic stack or hot stack. And this is still the, uh, the original <laughs> Ibanez um, neck pickup. Uh, the guitar is in kind of rough shape. Uh, Matt Valencia, thank you for reminding me to pull this out. Um, I used to play this all the time for gigs. Um, I played a lot of gigs back in like 2014, uh, sort of gigging out heavily. Um, in Venice, California, Venice Beach, California. Um, I was playing the Whaler, uh, Hananos, um, Brennan's Irish Pub a, a lot. And uh, so um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, you know, tipsy beer spilling people in those places. And I would opt to um, use this as my backup guitar instead of bringing my, you know, expensive Tyler out there. Um, I, I would still use the Tyler for some gigs, you know, the more important gigs. But um, so yeah, this one got played a lot. I didn't you know, uh, didn't feel as worried <laughs> about it because it was already kind of beaten up anyway. Um, but it's, it's an amazing guitar. So I'm going to do a short clip, just a real short clip so you could hear, you know, I figured I may as well so you could hear what it sounds like. Um, it has a real uh, Racer X type of vibe, you know, uh, Paul Gilbert vibe.